Hey, everybody. I'm Jared Penny, joined here by Max Scoville. And here for IGN, we're playing our weekly Star Wars game. And, this uh, is a good one. This, this is Star Wars Dark Forces, the original Star Wars first-person shooter. That's right. And a wonderful game. It fell in that or that sweet spot between Doom and Quake. It, it, it came out just just after Doom. I believe it came out the same year as Doom 2. Yeah, I think so. So first-person shooters were still a very, like, a very kind of primordial thing at that point, and right. it's a it's a really good game. It is. So let's jump into one of the levels and take a look right. around here. Good so first old. off, you know, good Mon Mothma, Mothma rendering. Yeah, uh, that's a very gorgeous. important feature. Uh, this this one trying to pick up the Death Star plans. Okay, now so far, uh, Max, we've played two really craptastic Star Wars games. Oh boy, uh, would you play Yoda Stories on Game Boy? What was the other one? Uh, Yoda Stories on Game Boy and Masters of Terrace Kasi. Ooh, this boy. game, on the other hand, is actually really, really good. I'm going to put this on easy because I haven't played this game in a long time and we're playing with weird old school keyboard controls before Wazda and QWERTY and all that work. Wazda QWERTY? Wazda QWERTY? All right, so the man's moving forward. He's got the iconic Briar pistol. Who are you playing here, Max? I am Kyle Katarn. Kyle Katarn. Not to be confused with that lame guy, Dash Rendar. Oh, no. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Dash Rendar is cool. Yeah. Oh, I like really? Dash you think Dash, I like Dash, Dash Rendar? Rendar. Oh, the poor man's Han Solo? Okay. So we're looking ahead here. Uh, why do you like Dash Rendar? I don't know. He's cool. He's got shoulder pads. He does have shoulder pads. But, you know, so did so did a lot of uh, business people in the 1980s. Uh, football players have shoulder pads. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, office he had, a, he had, a, he had a, a, a droid instead of a Chewbacca. He did have that. Okay, so yeah, uh, space bar jumps. Jump? Space, space bar jumps. Good old. Sp oh, yeah. you sure about that? Uh, no. Um, I'm not sure about that. God. Okay, well, there we are. Uh, we obviously have mastered the controls. Okay. Uh, space uh, bar did work. Yep, well. You know what? We're just going to move on. Uh, we don't need that anyway. There. We don't have to get up there. That's right. We're going to move along here. All right, so uh, right ahead. You said this is All right, is, uh, Imperial Blaster, E11, Blast Tech. All what, right, let's go. What makes this stand out, uh, Max? There we go. Um... I mean that's a good. It's a, it's it's a it's. Look at how gorgeously detailed it is. Okay. Now people may be looking at this and thinking gorgeously detailed. Why well, it just looks well, like a bunch of the same texture. Came out in what? 1993. 95. 90, this is 95. Is it 95? Yeah, it's 95. Okay. Uh, year before Quake. So you got these wonderful, the wonderful sound engineering, the Star Wars themes. You know, we are gonna have to learn to jump here at some point. Is it Z? No. Okay, no X. Z. Oh, there we go. X. Hey, oh, there we go. Man found jump. All right. Max has solved the jump puzzle. There's a lot of stormtroopers running around here. First off. Blasting away there. So, Max, what's our mission here? We're, we are we're, retrieving the Death Star plans and then retre retreating to our our uh, our ship, the the Moldy Crow. The Moldy Crow. Where our friend Jan's not there yet, is she? No, she's gonna she's gonna come pick us up. Um, us so the first the first uh, part of this actually takes place kind of before uh, it's before A New Hope. You're getting the, the original Death Star plans. Yeah. Uh, and then the later part of it is all about trying to prevent the. Empire for making a, a new thing called the Arc Hammer, I believe. Okay, which is a super weapon. It's right? a super weapon. I think, isn't it? It's it's like a. I just went full circle there. Yeah, you did. That's okay. Uh, if you're one, you know what? Let's let's jump ahead a little bit. Show people a few of the different ah! levels, if that's okay. okay. So yeah, let's, uh, things, there's a lot of different variety in this game. This level, this opening stage, while it's you know it's good introduction, doesn't actually show us a whole lot of what's available in the game. So we're going to use. Ye old cheat codes. Okay. From back right, in the I day. Can, I can dig that. All right. So what is it? See. LA skip or is yeah, it LA? I think in this case it's. Um, Check oh, this one out. Oh, just lost my code here. LA Randy, weapon supercharge. Oh my oh, God, go. look at that. Uh, man still remembers his cheat yep. codes. Look at that. After, after God all mode. these years. Okay, let's jump ahead to LA skip. We'll skip a level. Kyle delivers the oh, wow. Cinematics. Here we go. The there was a time, dear viewers. When a cutscene was a treat and a treasure, That's and it right. was something you had to work towards as opposed to a punishment for trying to play the game. Also, unlike cutscenes in some popular games today, this one is skippable if we choose. But why Woodley? Look at these lovingly rendered graphics. These are incredible, yeah. Okay, now again, we're, 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 sitting, we're not making fun of this, guys. When this came out in 1995, oh, yeah. this degree of cinematic storytelling on PC was almost unheard of. I mean, it, we, were, we had adventure games that gave us really mm -hmm. lovingly rendered graphics like this. And LucasArts had made a lot of adventure games, so they thought, hey, what if we made an action game but we put these really beautiful interludes between? And there's, there's cinematography here. They also, around the same time, they came out with Rebel Assault, which was kind of a more... It wasn't just a shooter. It was kind of more like an adventure game across oh. the board, which was also you'd have you'd be flying ships here and there. Yeah, not, I'm not a big fan yeah, of Rebel Assault. Not, myself. not me either. No. no, not so much. So what does make Dark Forces stand out? A lot of these loving cinematic touches. Uh, level design in Dark Forces is oh, actually yeah. really good. It's all mission oriented. It's um, labyrinthian. You yeah. know, you're you're really much trying to find trying to find keys. It's a lot like Doom in that sense. Uh, yeah. It actually requires a lot of kind of exploring and poking around, and you, you can't just shoot your way through it. Yeah, it's um, fast-paced doom with a story. Here are, uh, what are these, dark troopers? Yeah, we got some dark troopers headed down. This will go on for a while here, so you might want to skip on to the... Okay, so 
tech tech based. All right. um, I remember being stuck, uh, you know, playing this without cheats, being incredibly stuck and having yep. no idea what I was doing. Okay, so what did you do? Um, I. I think I I might have consulted IGN.com actually. Uh, yeah, um, actually, the cheat sheet that I'm holding here right crow. now is an is an IGN.com uh, dark it's from the old thing. Imagine Games Network. Yep. Speaking of that old IGN uh, that uh, continues to this day, uh, IGN Wikis is still looking for people to uh, work on our Star Wars wiki for oh, the hey. Star Wars cinematic universe, uh, Star Wars comics, Star Wars books, Star Wars television shows. If you're interested, uh, drop us a line. Uh, we also have the Rebel Base podcast that covers uh, new and breaking news uh, as we head into Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. We're actually going to be making one of these Star Wars Let's Plays every week, at least until Force Awakens comes out. This is our third. We're looking forward to making many more. You're in oh. violation of standing in front of my gun. That's right. There we go. Uh, any other uh, cheats? Boring conversation, you anyway. Oh, but night. Look at that. Look at the drop. All right, let's uh, let's try uh, L.A. Max out. Okay, oh now yeah. Okay, check out some now. other guns. Here we yeah, got the Brayer pistol. Uh, E11, uh, good old thermal detonator, which I right. believe I believe has an alternate fire. Let's Probably see. Does. You do a throw, yeah. which was honestly, this is. You yeah. can change the range. You can throw it on corners. That's like that's so. That's I don't I don't think Doom was doing that at this point. Uh, no, no, Doom didn't. Doom yeah. didn't have good grenade physics. So um, Quake would eventually develop them, but uh, but Doom didn't have them. And guys, this is you know it, this was a proprietary engine developed within LucasArts. This oh, was this, this one. is not uh, not something that yeah a big old spready gun. How do, how do I do the... There, I used to... Well, I used to know how to do a lot of things. Okay, so but everything does have an alternate fire, and I'm completely yeah. drawing a blank on how to get about doing that. All right. Up to the other... What is this thing called? Oh, it's it, Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. Look at that. Oh, looky there. Too soon? Okay. Yeah, uh, Yeah. that's not too soon. They, they've been dead since <laughs> they've 1977. Been dead. Yeah, they've been dead a while. They've been dead a really long time. It's, it's secret, not too secret doors anywhere? Secret doors anywhere? Uh, Let's skip this one. This is kind of a kind of a boring level, but... Okay. Uh, LA skip. You get to see some wonderful... Oh, hey, look at that. I got a dark trooper weapon. That's a cool thing. That's always fun. Uh, so there is a story here. You got to apparently there. retrieve this guy's cool buddy icon he or looks, something. He kind of looks, looks like... Manuel Noriega. Yeah, you a little bit. Dictator? Who was yeah. the guy who sued Call of Duty for putting yeah, him in it? Okay. So like here, this is... Um, should have sued Dark Force. Is this Anuat City? What, what level are we in here? Uh, this is level three, so I think this is Noat City, yeah. Yeah, which I love because it's... Uh, this one's full of Dianogas. You, know, you think got... of the, the, the Noat system. Lando. Oh, yes, Lando of course. System, you know. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so it's got the kind of... It's got the sort of Bespin sky there. You get a sense there's a lot of Tabana in the atmosphere could be mine. Ooh, look at that. Nice treats. I guess I have everything, so I don't really need to do that. Let's check out some other guns here. We got, uh, this was a very exciting for me when I was, uh-oh, uh-oh, yeah. babbit 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 system, babbit system. Now, one of the things that wasn't uh, a standard video games this time was mouse look. No, we had so to use page up and page down to, to figure that out. Ele to elevate your weapon, which is uh, yeah. very difficult to do on a laptop that doesn't have a page up and page down key, as we're discovering well, just here. just go around that guy. Just go around him and head down. We're set, we're set to easy. Get all now, this game was also the predecessor to uh, Dark Forces 2, which is better known as Jedi Knight, uh, which was a, a really groundbreaking storytelling title. Yeah, uh, and that, that jumped into third person. Yeah, that, uh, that jumped out. Well, there was a lot of first in that, too, but you could sure. jump to third for the same You could swap in between it, which was I remember being really excited by because I am terrible at, and I still am, terrible at platforming in first person, which this game has a little bit of, and, uh, you know, gets yeah. tricky. See, right here, um, nowadays we're kind of we're kind of used to the game telling you where to go. Right. This doesn't really do that so no, much. No, you got to do the exploring. Got to look around, see where you're supposed to head. Yeah. Look down. All right, so uh, let's hop up. I do know one thing I want us to go find, and that's one of the weird little Easter eggs that exists in this game. Okay. Uh, but that's on the next level, actually. All right. So let's LA skip up to that. All right. Now, we, in addition to LA skip, we got to do a couple other things to make this work. So we need to do the LA I'm lame cheat on this okay. level first. Are we going to do, 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 do some clipping? We're going to do some clipping, but first we need to become invulnerable. So LA I'm lame. Look at that. That's gorgeous. L.A. for LucasArts. That was the standard code. Oops. Max still remembered a lot of these codes I'm this morning lame. before we... Uh, uh, L.A.I.M. Uh, just I.M. L.A.M.E. L.A.I.M. Lame. Does it tell you anything? Am I might... Yeah, it pops up for L.A.I.M. Lame. L.A.I.M. There we go. There Full we invincibility. Okay. L.A.I.M. Lame. Then L.A. Pogo. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. All right. So that's just lets you... Uh, that lets you clip up walls. Okay, now. Good old... Head uh, left. Head left a little. Turn left. See that little narrow wall there? Right run here? up against that. This yeah, one? run right up against that. Okay, and then start. There we go. Hello. All right, now open up to your left. You're going to see, oh, that little panel. Open up that wall panel there. What, this one? Yeah, the flat one right in front of you. I believe it's right oh. there. No, not there, a little over. Where do is a little, it? Uh, what we called back in the day the wall humping. Uh, I think it's this one right here. Nope, keep going left. It's it's in here. <laughs> All right. 
There oh, we go. Okay, ah. and what this is, don't shoot him yet. So that is a little hidden Easter egg that you can reach by a cheat code. Uh, this is a demented Ewok. Uh, if you look at the face he's making here, I'm really, and, oh dear. That Ewok defended himself well. So we open it up. Oh, and look at there, he got him. He's doing the whole duck hunt dog thing. Oh. So, there you are. so that's guy. just a weird little thing. Okay, you can drop back out of here and toggle. I think you're kind of stuck in here now, actually, so we could uh, skip up to the next level. All right. again. Yeah, this oh, is... wait, you're clipping through walls here. I'd love to. Oop, LA, skip. Okay. Oh, there he is. More nice. gorgeous cutscenes. Yeah, I like the cutscenes. So anyone, the anyone who hasn't played this game, it's it's available in good old games, and it's entirely worth revisiting, though you might have to consult some strategy guides and stuff because it's not exactly intuitive. You know, there's parts that are very difficult. Yeah. There's also parts that are incredibly rewarding. One of the things that drove me crazy as a kid is I'm, as some people might know, I'm a huge Boba Fett fan. Like, I love Boba Fett. I Boba know Fett was just, is just plastered all over the, the CD case for this. Um, he's on the CD. He looks really cool. Um... And he's really hard to get to. Like, the level he's in is, is very... I mean, especially if you're a fifth grader who maybe doesn't know where everything is. Mm -hmm. um, hey, mines! Yeah, the mines are great. Ah, that noise. Um, oh, Come and get me, boys. So you were saying about... Oh, Bob this... Um, yeah, it's it's hard to get to him. And, and once you get to him, it's really exciting. It took a lot of... Uh, this gun. Oh, taking me back. Taking me back. There we go. Getting into the groove now. Oh, that is a dead storm. You shot him in the face with a grenade. Yeah, and I love this before guys would actually blow up. Um, but yeah, Boba Fett is in this. He's a boss. There's a yep. few little sort of sort of bosses. Um, there, it's kind of cool. You know, I, I feel like in in shooters, it's kind of it's almost a, a rarity in this day and age for there to be like proper like proper boss fights. Yeah, but the the Boba Fett fight is well, what stage is that on? Um, let's find out. Oh, yeah. I blew up a thing. Spoilers. Yep, jumping ahead here. Crix mating. How you doing, buddy? Oh, yeah. I think General, it might, I think it's mating. this level. Let me this level? uh Are you gonna let me try see. to find Boba Fett. Uh, uh that's all coming back to him. Uh, LA map. Uh what's the map cheat? Oh uh, the map cheat? Hold on. LA map probably is too obvious, but LA map. You know, let's see. Display coordinates. Uh LA data. LA data. Oh that's no nope, that's, that's your okay. Uh LA I love this. Oh, this, right. this, this is, is a big part oh, of LA LA C D S. Ah. Oh, LACDS. Yeah. yeah. So it says LACDS. There we go. Okay. Uh, and the zoom out. So there gives you an idea of how the level design works here. I guess it's not so much this one. Anyway, let's just play. Let's play the game. Right, a little gonna play bit. a game. Here um, a bit. Uh, my right favorite, up. I think, is ah. Oh, oh, that 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 that, that dude are dead. That kind of hurt me a little bit, but yeah. you know whatever. We can make you invincible. Yeah, I'm gonna eat some back to cheer myself yep. up. Yeah, you could L uh, L A I'm lame would make you vulnerable. Make you uh, able to shoot those off at point blank range. I still have the pogo on. Oh, you do? So you can clip through the walls? Yeah, you can turn that off if it's. Full invincibility! There we are. All right, so now you're invincible. Uh, let's check out some other guns here. Right. Where's the good one? Oh, this one. I love this one. This is such a cool weapon. All right. Not really practical at all, but like still really. Babada babada babada. Babada babada. Babada babada. You hear him? Where are you? Him. Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh. It, sh it just is. It shoots out of the ground. It's yeah, weird. Yeah, it's a sort of a wall of fire. It reminds me of, the, uh, of one of the rocket launchers in Rise of the Triad. Oh, you fell down in a hole. Splat. Yeah. Now you would normally be dead from that fall, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think I think so. There, I think there might be some parts in the game where you have to take a huge fall. Yeah, but I think you might have trapped yourself down yep. here. Oh, the, oh, you still got pogo on though, so that works. So you're able to clip up there. <laughs> yep. The power of cheating. It's so much fun. Oh. Oh. Oh, see here. This is oh, the. Look at this that. is. Oh. Yeah, this is one of those levels where you get really mad at falling off of stuff because yeah. you got to activate this whole barge thing. Okay. So, oh, that's kind of awesome. You got a little shadow underneath there. Moving forward. So uh, you like the uh, you like the Cal Katarn, who eventually becomes we learn later on a Jedi Knight for yeah, he light or dark helps again. open up the Jedi Academy absolutely helps open up here the Jedi is Academy. the dark trooper weapon oh, yeah. oh which there shoots we are. missiles what is the alternate fire it's driving me crazy yeah unfortunately I don't have I I do not have that information R two were here he'd stick his little uh, his little uh, sticky thing into some circular terminal and make it work but there's your strafe that's, that's fine. I'm just pushing random keyboard buttons. Uh, I'm just hoping something happens. Oops. <laughs> well, I think we've, we've given people a pretty good idea yeah. of what they have to find in this game. So, Max, thank you very much. Any uh, any closing uh, Star Wars Dark Forces remarks? Um, not really. All it's, right. It's, it's a good time. It is I kinda, a good time. I kind of just fell back into my 11-year-old self there. A good time was had by all. It's good to fall back into the 11-year-old self. Yeah. You know, honestly, add, add a goatee and you kind of could be Kyle Katarn.
I, I would love to do a Kyle Katarn cosplay. That'd I can see that a good time. Be. Yeah, or Dash Render with uh, with uh, shoulder pads. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, guys, uh, we're going to continue doing IGN uh, Let's Plays for Star Wars all through the year. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, give us your comments. Let us know what Star Wars games you want to see, and uh, maybe we'll do them. And for everything in a galaxy far, far away, uh, visit your friends here at IGN. Hey, Jared. Yeah. Are you going to have me back for Super Bombad Racing? Uh, that's absolutely going to happen. Oh, yeah. That's absolutely. so wizard. <laughs>